Hi guys and welcome back to the Maro Brothers. Today we are back in Val d'Isia thanks to Consensio Chalets, your top luxury ski holiday operator for the French Alps. And today we have the pleasure to show you one of the biggest and most iconic chalets, Chalet Les Rochers. I hope I said that right. <laughs> On such a beautiful, sunny, snowy day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the tour. I absolutely love the solid looking clad of stone and the wood upper part. This home is iconic and I'm so happy to show it to you. Let's begin the tour. You got my attention, baby. And I can't make a move. Like a child, a star for love. I stayed there as long as I had. It's just starting to snow and getting really cold, so let's jump right into it. First and foremost, love the doors. They have been sourced from Mongolia, giving this entire chalet a bit of an Asian touch. That's the main door, let's enter. This would be your entry for you, your reception area, and also the floor where the indoor swimming pool is housed. I already like the atmosphere here. It is the most charming and rustic and authentic chalet that we will be showing you and i'm really excited i'm first going to take my shoes off in the meantime there's also a coat room right there all right so this house has four floors 800 square meters the wood squeaks on the floor and everywhere else it is just a pure authenticity let's have a look at the spa area let's be honest there's absolutely nothing better than spending an entire day skiing and then jumping into your warm indoor swimming pool after a long day of being beaten on the slopes. You also have a mini chalet here, which is your hammam. Gotta love a little hammam, warm up the core body temperature after you've been a bit chilly on the pest. And of course, here we get to see Les Rochers, which is the rock. This entire house has been built on the little slope going down. That's why we have the exposed rock here. It's real. It is pure nature and it even has a little waterfall because it's kind of snowing right now. Awesome. Here we have the shower and a little bathroom. Now, before we leave the ground floor, which houses the indoor swimming pool section, the boot room is something we would like to show you because it's super convenient. Let's go. Now you could also sit here, wait a little bit and go down. We are in the ski room. So basically we have a separate door in which you can enter. You'll be seeing that soon. You'd come in here with your wet boots, hang them on the dryer, get a refreshment, coconut water here, hydrate, eat something with fast absorbing carbon hydrates just to pump up the sugar level again. Or when you leave, you do the same thing. You climb down the stairs or take the elevator, put on your shoes and take that door to the carport where you also have your private driver which is part of the entire chalet experience taking you to the pist. Let's continue. Now we're back on the ground floor where the main entry was. I just want to talk about the charisma this entire Alpine chalet has. The fattest wooden beams are everywhere. I mean just check this out. It's probably a half a meter in thickness. We also have some sort of Balinesian inspired ceiling art more wood exposed, the staircase that leads to the first floor. Five bedrooms are there, but let's be lazy and take the elevator. Why not? <laughs> Which is also cladded with wood. I like it. I like it a lot. This floor houses five bedrooms and a massage room and a little games room for children. I'm gonna show you everything later. Let's start with the bedrooms, bedroom number one right here. What I like about the bedrooms is that you really get this wooden feel. You are cozed in, got a king-sized bed, the clad is also made out of wood, nice chandelier setup. Here you have a little closet to hang your clothes and of course this bedroom also has a terrace from where you can check the conditions of the snow and then see whether today will be a good day for off pist skiing or snowboarding. Here we have the toilet, and here we have the bathroom. 
quick look inside. It's really cool that this bathroom continues the wooden beam features with a bit of a more modern one sink vanity setup. Bathtub is also present and the drawers setup is just underneath. And underneath we have some storage space as well. And again, the continuation of the organic wooden pallets on the floor that squeak when you walk in them. So cool. Let's go. To a room which is often forgotten and it's still a room for children to enjoy themselves in. Let's have a look. This would be a little playroom. Cushioned flooring, couch, track racing, TV setup. Play some Lego. I used to love Lego as a child. Just be fully entertained here and you can also chalk write something on the wall here. Such as... S U B which stands for subscribe if you haven't yet. Let's continue to bedroom number two. As usual cozy, comfy, super nice and warm. We've got a TV setup once again a terrace that also leads out to a balcony. You can observe the snowfall, see the mountains and once again check the condition or simply go and breathe in some alpine air which is amazing we also have a separate toilet and your shower once a vanity setup right here that you're seeing and very loud flooring the squeak but i love it this you know this is part of the chalet experience for me this is authenticity in a purest sound form let's continue now even here the wooden clad on the wall we have another drawer here. I think this is Mongolian wood sourced obviously from Mongolia. So you have these little Asian inspired themes within the house. Staircase that leads up to the most gorgeous living room area. Stay tuned. We still have to show you that. The elevator is just there and the third bedroom. Here we have two separate beds. Once again, the wood clad is continuous. Maybe I'm going to stop saying that because the entire chalet is out of wood, except of the front facade of the house. Half of it's out of stone. What I like about this bedroom is that you have a lot of windows. So when you lie from bed, you can observe the peak of the mountain and see if it's nicely covered with snow. We have a TV set up here as well, in case you want to bring some Mara Brothers. Behind is the ensuite bathroom that you're also seeing now, which is very similar to the ones we have already seen. And we continue outwards with the toilet being here. Not going to show it's like any other toilet we have seen so far. Another bedroom. Let's explore it. And the good thing here is that they are separated by a door in case you want this to be the little quarters for the children. They can be more isolated. Bedroom here, bedroom there. Let's have a look at this one. If I were to choose a bedroom on the first floor, it would be this one because it's location. And I hope you'll get that shot, Patrick with the view out to the mountain is the best and you've also got your own little private terrace and of course a bathroom ensuite all the bedrooms are ensuite in this chalet and everything is kept in the same style and design with a one sink vanity bathtub here as well and obviously nice wooden details on the ceiling super one more bedroom my and favorite bedroom ah the one next door Let's have a look at it, no? And you tell us, Patrick, why it's your favorite. Will do. Let's do it. All right, so this is your favorite room, Patrick. Explain us why. Uh, it's not the room itself. It's rather the, ba the bathroom. Okay, so we'll come to the bathroom in a second. I just want to point out from the terrace, you get to see the two main chairlifts that take you up to the skiing piste, Olympus and Soleil's, which are just there, four minute walk, and it takes you to one of the best skiing parts here. And this door here, Dominic, connects to another room. The spiritual world. Well, you can say hello to people now. I guess. You know, you got me tripping because I was actually, look, when I opened it, I saw the depth, the reflection. I actually got spooked when I did that. I thought it was going somewhere. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So this is going to be Patrick's favorite part because it's the bathroom and you should explain us what you like about it, but I'm pretty sure I know, but please. Ah, it's that rock. I really like that open rock. Les Rochers. Les Rochers. The rock, the boulder. It's the and rock. we've. Les Rochers. It's not Les Rochers. What did you say? Les Rochers. It's the rock. Les Rochers. 
our French amigo told us how to pronounce the French word so we don't get it wrong. But it's pretty cool as it's super exposed and today, as I said before, it's snowing a little bit. So the rock is wet and you see it like a natural waterfall on it. Cool. Two sink vanity set up, bathtub just there. And of course the shower and a continuation of the wooden ceiling above. Cozy. Now I'd say we're very close to coming to the best part of the house, in my opinion, and that's the living room kitchen area. And I'm very excited to show it to you because that's just where the heartbeat of the house is. Let's look at it. Now, before we leave this floor, a quick look into the massage room here. Fantastic. So the whole idea of this floor is to house all your guests. Five bedrooms, 10 people. We still have two master bedrooms on the fourth floor that we're going to be showing you. But before we do, staircase up to the living room area with the nicest vaulted ceiling. Let's go. Now, uh, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a double height, vaulted ceiling, exposed beams. This screams charisma. This screams rustic alpine mansion. I just think it's fascinating the volume and the depth we have here. Picture windows, literally pictures, because you're looking at the dramatic scenery of the mountains just up front, the snow that is falling on the trees and the mountain and the rock. I love it. Big couch area, metallic coffee tables, the curtains here, by the way. And if you've seen that, Patrick, they have like this cashmere feel to them. So whenever you get cold, you can just take the curtain and cover yourself with it. Jokes aside, terrace area as well. And once again, the view to Olympus and Soleil's chairlift and cabinas just there. It's a five minute walk. Easy peasy. TV setup. Just look at the wooden details here. What do you think? The millwork, like traditional millwork, Pantrek. Isn't that insane? I really like it, yeah. It's very yeah. nice. Can you stop doing this ASMR thing? It's very nice. <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, we've finally come to the part of the biggest fireplace we have ever seen. Biggest ever. <laughs> Which is right here. Look, the two columns holding the mantle above together we're gonna make a fire in there very soon just to keep the ambience roaming the chimney above is also cladded with wood and it's just a fantastic area we have a bar area here with six seats and you get to see this antique wool fixtures here with the ski some pictures of the mountain ranges here pretty solid and of course an entire bar area where you can come and just get yourself whatever you want from the open bar section. If you stay there, I'm gonna walk around, show you guys what I mean. Make yourself an Aperol Spritz, Talisker, single malt Scotch whiskey, whatever you fancy. It's an open bar principle in the chalet. So whatever you find here, you get to drink freely and carelessly. And that's pretty neat. And you also have the consensus chalet concierge service, basically. What it means is that you have a cook, a chef cook, assistant manager, chalet manager, a driver. You've got the full service that takes care of absolutely everything for you. I'll explain more later, but let's first get out of here. Sit down and play something, Dominic. I wanted to show people the longest dining table I've ever seen. But yeah, if you are a talented musician, and only if you are, because they kindly asked only those who have a musical understanding and training to operate this. Hit something Christmassy. Go. <laughs> I 
yeah, I'm proper talented. I've been going to private school and all this bull. Anyways, the longest dining table we have ever seen. And I just love this entire third floor that we have here. It's enormous. The entire chalet has 800 square meters. Got this stunning chandelier set up here. A dining table with two, four, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16. 16 seats. Never happened on our tour. And then you have these artisan handmade furniture pieces like this one from Mongolia scattered around the entire chalet and just a continuation of that warm vibe that you get here this rustic charismatic warm vibe that I love because if I thought of a chalet in the mountains I want it to be just like this now picture you can have so many guests stay here if you're actually curious how many or you want to book your stay in the description of today's video you'll get all the information and they would all be here having a good time whilst your chef cooks in here let's have a quick look and this is the chef's kitchen you will not be going in here because your chef cook will be taking care of anything he would be preparing you some goulash or whatever your heart desires five nights he'll be making you some fancy dinners if you book a seven day stay and you also have a little coffee bar set up here where patrick and i have just had our 10th coffee of the day it's what keeps us alive yeah super now this door leads you back to the landing of the third floor do you remember i took the staircase up you also have a bathroom here with a nice stone vanity and that vaulted living room area that i've just so thoroughly explained here we have the staircase that leads you up to the fourth floor where we have two main bedrooms let's check it out this is the fourth floor landing also accessible by elevator in case you need that bedroom number six and seven let's have a look these two bedrooms are bigger thus than being the main one we also have a beamer that goes down here covered nothing really to look at and a little terrace area here with the view of the rock which is also the name of this house once again the vaulted ceiling here and as well a very charming and cute ensuite bathroom that we have here with the one sink vanity setup bathtub the wooden ceiling and a little toilet there everything is very compartmentalized wood cladded and that's what you kind of look for in a chalet to be quite honest well at least that's what i want and if that's what you want you can book your stay here if you just turn around you have a little sitting area in case you get tired from walking all the stairs and you also get to look at this view here from above the fat wooden beams the vaulted ceiling the two elegant chandeliers dangling down what do you think patrick very nice, Dominic. I really like the wooden beams and structures. It gives a lot of warmth. You know, Dominic, I like that a lot. That's how, his spirit. How the smoke is dancing. Hey, don't mock my like uh, poetic... Dancing. My poetic way of explaining the view. But that's literally how it looked like. This would be the last bedroom and, in my opinion, the nicest. Let's put focus on the doors here that have been also sourced from Mongolia. Look at that, all these final details. We've got elephants up there. We've got spike or metallic elephants in Mongolia? Yeah, it's been, this wood's been sourced and created in Mongolia. But elephants in Mongolia? I, ooh, I don't know, to be honest. Let's continue. Dominic, let me just tell you, there are no elephants in Mongolia. Well, on the door from Mongolia, they are. This would be the bathroom. Two sink vanity set up here everything out of wood once again big mirror setup as well down there we have the bathtub the shower and the toilet which you are also seeing right now let's look at the main bedroom because it is absolutely gorgeous my most favorite room it's like you melted into wood here i like the slats yeah i didn't even realize there's yeah, two of them you think they're real i mean i hope so Apparently, it's very difficult nowadays to get hands on on like old merchandise. Yeah, 
So I'm sure they, they carry some sort of they value. They all have already been used or sold or like are crazy expensive. Yeah. yeah. But it's really cool. And I like the lamps. The lamps are like yeah, the factory lamps. style lamps. It's kind of disruptive, but yeah. in a very nice way. Super warm color as well. This kind of feels like it was the attic that was turned into a bedroom because of the vaulted ceiling setup we have. Yeah, they just cut a hole. If you look around, the beams like sticking out, they just cut a hole and made it uh, a little bit more spacious. Yeah. I like that. Anyways, a very nice bedroom. You would be lying here. You've got views out to the mountains, to the snow. Let's go back down to the living room. Don't forget the two gentlemen. closets. Closets? Yeah. There's number one. Yeah. Closet number one. And the Not second there. one here. <laughs> Voila. Yeah. Ta -da! And now we'll see you back in the vaulted living room area for the grand finale of today's tour. You can book your stay in this grand chalet or any other luxurious chalet or apartments in the French Alps using Consensus link in the description below. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to make use of it. I'm gonna snip my finger, the fire's gonna go on, enjoy the night shots.